Hi, welcome to my tutorial on Urweb. So this is just going to be an introductory lesson, uh, not even a lesson really. Uh, I'm just going to uh, explain uh, to someone who's never heard of Urweb uh, why they'd be interested in it. So if you've heard of Urweb before, uh, this, pro this probably won't be too interesting and you can skip to the next lesson. So Urweb, as you can see from the website here on impredicative.com, uh, is a programming language that descends from ML and Haskell. And if you don't know either of those languages, I would highly suggest that you you learn a little bit about those languages before you jump into Urweb, because um, Urweb is definitely for intermediate to expert level, uh, pure functionally typed programmers. And so, the offering that Urweb has over ML and Haskell, though, is a significantly richer type system uh, based on row types. And you get uh, metaprogramming, uh, statically typed metaprogramming from these row types. And um, so there's definitely a bunch of uh, benefits that you get uh, in Urweb over more traditional web frameworks. And I, I won't go through them all. But uh, I think one of the most important ones is actually this one that you get uh, AJAX style services with uh, remote uh, web servers that you can't have incorrect assumptions about. Uh, all of them are very important, I think, but um, I, that one I think is a, a pretty important one in my opinion. And um, you get all the benefits of, of Haskell and ML. So from Haskell, you get things like type classes. From ML, you get functors. Um, and the other thing is, is that Urweb produces very efficient uh, binaries that don't use garbage collection. And uh, Adam has gone over uh, the design of Urweb in his other videos, so I won't go over in detail uh, how, how he accomplishes that. But uh, why I'm creating this tutorial is because I feel that there's kind of a gap in in the documentation for Urweb, where, uh, say, starting off with the reference manual, you uh, you get a bunch of uh, Greek <laughs> and, and uh, type typing rules and, and this kind of stuff. And I think it's very important for uh, definitely the definition of the language and the uh, the well foundedness of the language. But um, it's not very easy going for someone who just wants to start building a website with Urweb and start getting all the benefits from uh, using Urweb. And the uh, the demo is actually really great. There's a lot of uh, really great examples of um, how to use Urweb. And uh, I think that that definitely uh, gives you uh, quite a bit of starting uh a head start for creating an application, but it, it it's also there's just a bit of a gap as well where I think that the from going from a very simple application in here like one of these CRUD applications to uh, understanding the really high level uh, type system machinery in Urweb, I think that there's there's a bit of a gap between those two levels and. Uh, there, there are definitely significant applications like the Urweb People Organizer that uh, shows off all the uh, strengths of Urweb in a, a rather serious application. But I think that there's this this middle ground in the documentation between these very simple applications and the very complex applications uh, that could be filled. And my goal is actually to create a very simple application. Uh, so by by lesson three, we'll have the full application, uh, and then afterwards, we're essentially going to uh, keep re re-implementing that same application, but uh, using the different abstractions that Urweb provides uh, to basically show show off the the machinery that um, Urweb gives us, and specifically its type system, the the uh, the type system based on row types. So this tutorial is um, aimed at intermediate to expert uh, functional programmers, specifically statically typed functional programmers in the uh, ML and Haskell family. 
and um, it's to go through the dependently type parts and the row row the record types with the the row types, uh, and it's um, because of the similarities that it has to something like Cock or Idris. I'm not expecting people to have that are going to be watching this tutorial to have. Uh, uh, experience with Cock or Idris or, or Agda or any of these dependently typed programming languages, uh, but I will be going over uh, dependent types and record types and row types and uh, all, all those things and, and slowly building up an application that that leverages uh, that machinery. So, uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.